that is genuinely horrific. So today I have a very special video for you because I'm actually joined by me. Hey, it's not memeulous, unfortunately. So you don't know what I have in store for you today. It's pretty amazing. I'm worried. I'm scared of you. Today I'm going to be taking you down the proverbial rabbit hole of YouTube. I found a selection of videos about this guy who thinks he's Peter Pan. Oh no. I think I was about eight when I told my dad, you know, I'd like to be a fairy. Well, he's uh, now 50. But he's 50 now. He's 50 years old. And is his daddy accept him for it? Do you think he does? No. <laughs> he probably wondered what kind of a child I was going to be. But not a child. Yeah, hopefully he's not around to have figured it out. What, so you're saying you right he's dead? Look at me, I'm 50 years old and I'm still Peter Pan. Whoa. <laughs> uh, he has a lawyer. That's what I love. They brought his lawyer on. I mean, I wasn't going to suggest that he's done anything criminal just yet. But judging oh, that for he's got sake. a fucking lawyer. This is what I was worrying about bringing you on my channel. Is that as soon as we started watching any video, you'd bring in nonce allegations. I mean, what does Peter Pan do? He comes... He to doesn't touch kids, Alex. Um, I don't think there's any way to explain w why a 50-year-old man would want to run around dressed like Peter Pan. Because he's insane. And really likes children. <laughs> Say you can't do this. I can't upload this video if you just keep calling him a pedophile. When I found out that he dresses like that all the time, I was like, wow, he takes this farther than I thought he did. It's almost as if like you meet him once, and it's like, oh look, this guy dressed up as Peter Pan. That's kind of cute. You met him at like a fancy dress party. And then it gets to the second day, and then the third, and then the fourth, and then it's been a month, then two. Now we're five years in. The thing is, it's not even a midlife crisis. I almost feel like it would be acceptable if it was a midlife crisis. But he's been doing this for over 40 years. Often I spend so much time working on the tops that I don't realize that the girls are looking at my tights. <laughs> Can we clarify? Girls as in women, not girls as in children. But he hasn't clarified that. <laughs> he can't do this! <laughs> I do fuss with my hair a lot, and I do have my little beauty secrets about it, and so that's as far as I'm gonna go about my hair. It's not a wig. Somehow, it's not a wig. That is his hair. That haircut is incredible. It's straight out I of No Country for Old Men. Yeah, have you ever I, seen that? Yes. He models his hair on a four-year-old. Not literally, he doesn't, like, sit a four-year-old down. No, oh, fuck. Just looking like Peter Pan isn't enough for Randy. He models his regular diet after a parentless six-year-old. Looking like Peter Pan isn't enough. He also wants to die of heart disease. Why is he so obsessed with children? Well, because Peter Pan gets stuck he's stuck as a kid, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's forever a kid. Except that's fictional. Whereas this man is, 50. It's, is clearly 50. 50 years old. Yeah. I think if something's making you happy, though, you can't really knock it. Yeah, like touching kids. Oh, no! <laughs> that is genuinely horrific. Through the window. That is probably the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Fuck off! You can't just do that! <laughs> the only <laughs> dynamic thing you send in this video is he's a pedophile. There is an art to leaping. You have to be practical. You have to avoid areas where somebody will shoot you. <laughs> in what world? They're just trying to take him out. Nancy he's Randy's just... back again. Fucking get the snipers out, guys. Randy's not just Peter Pan at home. He's Peter Pan everywhere. Even though that's caused him to lose a job and his 20-year marriage. <laughs> No, but she must have been with him she's for 20 years. She's been with it for at least 20 years. And she's gone, Randy, it's time to put the cap away. Maybe it's just gotten worse every year. So he's just started off, he's like, oh, this hat's cute. And then she's, oh, just, she's like, like, I draw the line when you abduct kids, Randy. <laughs> Hello. What is your name? That is how the woman's hiding behind him. Genuinely fearful for her life. I would be scared. He'd never land a pun. The only things you've contributed to this video are paedophile allegations and a shit pun. So what are you doing over here, Peter Pan? I'm just skipping around Ebor City. A lot of nice girls. Yeah, a lot of tinks. That is how he calls them tinks. No, he doesn't. Yeah, a lot of tinks. This isn't real, is it? You think this is fake? It better be. Well, Alex, my next video I'm about to show you is this man receiving an interview from Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Please welcome 50-year-old eternal child, Randy Constant. What I love about this is there's an audience that are genuinely applauding him coming on. What's happened here is Randy's got Conan's kids. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he just yeah. really wants them back. Oh, this has taken a really dark turn. I was just hoping this would be like a, a little dark laugh. Turn as soon as he fucking walked out wearing that. Right? More or less, you dress in a kind of Peter Pan costume style. pixie. 
pixie. You dress as a pixie every day. Hmm? Every time he turns and looks at the camera, I get fucking chills down my spine. Thought you were going to say something else there. Every time he looks at the camera, I get an erection. I only thought it was like seven years ago. Oh my god. You worked with a lot of other people in an office. Would you dress this way at the I office? I worked for Con Edison right here in New York for 20 years. So you would show up at Con Edison and... Uh, I wouldn't wear the hat. I just realised this man used to go to work just as the green giant. <laughs> oh yeah, because he didn't have his hat on. Green giant with a funky haircut. Were the other uh, workers, you know, were they accepting? No. Definitely not. <laughs> there is no they chance. They wouldn't let him wear the hat, would they? If they were accepting it, first of all, they would have let him wear the hat. I love that, though. It's like, you could wear everything, right? But you put that hat on, you're out of here. But you know what? I think we're done with videos for now, Alex. But we're not done with the video yet. What else could there fucking possibly be? I have found his website. Oh, come on. And it is straight out of 2001. It is unbelievable. Here it is. Oh no, it's green. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we should read out some of this text, but there's so much, much of it. Much of it. It's like a full on biography. My favorite line is, I also started this site so that Tinkerbell would have an easier time finding me. And would you like to report the happy news? I'm very happy to report that she has. In fact, you'll find links to our fairy wedding scattered all about the site. It's in Comic Sans. It's in Comic Sans. <laughs> it's in Comic Sans. The officiator for the wedding, right? It's King Henry VIII. No, please tell me he doesn't actually have friends. <laughs> I think we found King Henry VIII. Please tell me the man just as King Henry VIII didn't marry him. He did. To a like, He officiated his wedding. Not to a seven-year-old. Please stop. <laughs> but you want to know something even worse than that? As I said, he's still Peter Pan to this very day. But you want to know what Peter Pan does? Peter Pan makes music. Oh, of course he fucking does. Let's take a look at one of his live performances. <laughs> The first thing you'll notice is that on stage, it's just him. I think at one point in time, like when he was 20, he had a band and then like every five years, another member just drops out and now he has to play the keyboard, the guitar and the invisible drums. He's not bad. He's having fun. He's happy. It just makes me a bit uncomfortable. I want to see the audience though. I want to see the audience reactions to this. It's just going to be loads of children looking out, hoping that they're going to be whisked away to the land that they've never been to before. And then there's King Henry VIII in the, <laughs> in the corner <laughs> guy. But thank you for watching this video. Alex and I actually have a podcast. It's called The Campcast. If you want to go and watch uh, a couple of episodes of that, there's like six or seven now. So yeah. go and check it out. Do you want to do my outro for me? Uh, please watch more videos of mine. I'm this James Marriott. This isn't my outro. Please, I really You must know my outro. Please watch more videos You of don't mine. know my outro. <laughs> Fuck off. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new or have not done so already. And I will catch you next time. <laughs>